You know, I think it's. Um, I think I think you know me well enough where uh, fights aren't you know too big of a deal. Um, I think it's it's emotions are high. It's a physical game. Um, you know, you try to stay away from the fights. You try to stay away from the punching. You try to stay away from some dirty stuff. Um, but I think nothing's wrong with you know grabbing a guy by his pads and holding him and just looking at him and say, hey, maybe you know going after my QB like that isn't cool or you know something like that. But you know, I understand emotions get high. It's it's a physical game. Um, guys live for the you know this is guys' livelihood. So. Um, I don't blame any of that stuff. How much do you guys get out of a joint practice like this? I think it's great. I, I love it. I think, um, you know, after a while, you get tired of going against your own guys. Um, you know, they start learning your plays, your calls, and stuff like that. And um, having a whole new, you know, whole new group with a different defense, with different looks, with uh, really a whole new scheme is uh, is beneficial because because then you're not just running against the same stuff and having the same calls, the same checks. Um, might be a little different. It might have. Uh, a couple of extra wrinkles in there that, you know, maybe you weren't thinking about it, uh, or earlier. You talk about livelihood. Uh, yesterday, Coach McCarthy was asked about all the coaches being in the last year of their contract. He's, and, you know, if pressure makes diamonds, he said our coaches are already diamonds. Uh, you know, your granddad was a coach. You know, what's your understanding or appreciation for that aspect of it, these guys all wanting to uh, extend their tenure? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, it's kind of like us. Everybody wants to extend it. Everybody wants to play well. Everyone wants to get to that. That final end goal, uh, winning the Super Bowl. Um, like I said earlier, you know it's 32 teams. It's it's all the best players in the world, and it's all the best coaches. Um, but no, I mean I I'd run through a brick wall for coach. So um, no doubt in my mind, he's he's got it dialed in. Do you feel a responsibility not only to coach but Linda and all the other coaches? There's always responsibility. Um, at the end of the day, what we do on this field um, matters a lot. What we do every single game. Um, you know, throughout the whole season, through preseason even, you know, it, it matters. It all matters. Why do you feel that way about Mike? What, what is it that makes you want to run through a wall for him? Um, I just, I think he, he knows his players, you know what I mean? He he, uh, he knows the scheme. He knows when it's time to go. Um, and I think one of the best things about him is, you know, he lets his players play. And that's something that just fires me up. And um, being, uh, you know, growing up in Wisconsin when he was at Green Bay, just kind of watching him from, from a distance. And, um, you know, with my grandfather being a coach, I always thought the high, highest of him, and um, I've always said I, I, I wanted to play for him. Maybe not at Green Bay, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've always had always had the highest uh, highest respect for coach. How can that coaching life uncertainty be difficult for the rest of the family? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was probably a little bit different with me and my grandpa. I was just a young kid, um, you know, going through that, and um, but you see it. I, I know it's hard to be a coach's kid. Um, you know, you're not with your parent as much. You're not with, um, you're not with them. You're not. Sometimes they miss some stuff with games, um, weekend games. It's tough, and um, you know, can't thank coach enough for being away from his family. I know, I know he loves them. Um, but yeah. Well, your first two years in the NFL, you've gone against uh, Dan Quinn's defense in practice. Uh, what's the biggest difference that you see as far as Dan Quinn's versus what Mike Zimmer is throwing at you in training camp this year? Yeah, I think uh, one of the big differences is, well, first of all, Eric Kendricks, he's in there. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty big one. Uh, but I, I think they're, it, it seems like they're just moving. You know, they're um, they're moving around, they're, they're switching it up. There's always little wrinkles. Um, you know, it just seems like there's an extra layer, and um, that excites me because that also makes us better. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.